I'm here at the water queue with Tom. Uh, Tom, would you please put your badge up so we can just see exactly how you spell your name. Tom is with the Relief International. Uh, Tom, please go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Tom Opio Oming from Relief International, yeah. which is a, a, an organization in the United States of America. Yeah. But at the moment, I'm uh, in charge of a project in Uganda, yeah. which is uh, dealing with the rainwater harvest and the storage. Okay. And, and you've got a unique product which you want to show the world, right? Indeed, a very unique product. Okay. And we're going to take a look at it. So uh, bear with us, viewers. We don't have much space. Well, this is a flexible rainwater storage bag. Yeah. And uh, it is made of uh, polypropylene on the outer side. Mm -hmm. And in, inside you have a polythene, which is of about 120 microns. It's quite thick. Mm -hmm. um, the purpose of this bag is to collect uh, rainwater from, the, from hard roofs yeah. of uh, the, the poor people. Yeah. Generally, we aim this product for the very poor people who can't afford the big tanks built of cement. We call mm -hmm. them ferro cement tanks. Yeah, those are the most common tanks. Most common and the, the starting point for rainwater collection, collection yeah. and storage. Okay, yeah. and, and, and I just saw before as well, this is the, uh, the end, uh, the, the, the tap? This is the tap. Yeah. I unfortunately haven't brought the, the other outer part. Of course, but, but we uh, can... Uh, because of the long distance, but otherwise you open the water and it comes out yeah. just like in a normal tap. Yeah. yeah. So. What, what makes this product so unique and, and how do you plan, because you're just starting this, right? Yes, see, this is a very unique product and yeah. I would say it's the first uh, in the world yeah. and the testing is being done in Uganda. Yeah. So the success of, this, uh, of our test results yeah. will determine the usage of the bag. Okay. It is a very cheap bag. Yeah. Uh, in terms of dollars, this would cost fifty dollars to okay. to the poor poor family. Okay. And how and how many test cases will you do? Hundred and fifty. Hundred fifty, and then we'll find out. When do we find out if it's working? Well, <laughs> that will spread all, <laughs> all over Depends the world. Depends on it rains. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I must say this: uh, the the test project is being funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Okay. Uh, which is very good, and we have a test period of about one year. Okay. We have now done eight months down, eight months down the down the period. Mm -hmm. So we think early next year by January we should be putting the product out on a commercial basis. Okay. The whole idea is that Relief International as an NGO. Yeah will not be handling the commercial side but no. we are developing the commercial side for the private sector to take on the local private sector of yes. course so we are developing the the product and then we are turning it down to to the to the private sector so that it becomes a commercial basis okay the reason why we have done that we are moving away from traditional subsidy which has been from donors all over the world to the poor countries we are saying let this poor man buy the product which is affordable to you exactly yeah, that is the whole basis of uh, of this trade okay well yeah. thank you very much hopefully you'll be here next year and then uh, we'll be here again and then you could tell us how that worked out thank you very much because this has been a center of attraction all over the place okay thank yeah. you very much thank you very much bye 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 bye